Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. If you guys have been with the channel for about a month now, you guys know that I did not expect this C8 out. This is not exactly the way I would have expected it out, but it has all the necessities. It's got the Z51 package, and it has the 2LT package, which comes with the rear view camera, the blind spot monitoring system, which you really need because of the blind spots in this are horrible. It has the heads up display, which pops up on the windshield there. And it has the PDR system, which is the performance data recorder. Those are all the things that I really wanted. Oh, and it also has the lift. So those are the things that I really, really wanted. Those are my necessities. But um, the other things I would have done were maybe, you know, different interior colors or exterior colors. I definitely wanted a high wing, which I installed last week. If you guys haven't watched that video, check that one out. But one of the things that it didn't come with was the engine appearance package and an engine cover. So when I spec'd mine out, when I built it online, when it, when it was first available to spec out, I put the red engine cover on there because, you know, it's kind of like the heart of the heart of the car. Uh, and I think that on this spec, especially looking through that glass window, that red's really going to pop. So today what we're doing is we are going to go ahead and remove the engine cover off of the car. I'm going to show you guys how to do that. And then we're, I've got two different colors of paint here. I've got white and red. I'm going to go ahead and do a first coat of white so that this red pops more because if I just put the red on top of just the black engine cover there. I think that maybe it might make it darker. And this was the brightest red that I could find at AutoZone. Stupid color engine paint that's rated up to 500 degrees. All right, so we're gonna try something a little different today because of the high wing and the way we gotta get in here. It's gonna be kinda hard to maneuver with the camera and everything. So I got a GoPro set up. Hopefully that's gonna give you guys a good top view and see, show you guys exactly what I'm doing up top there. All right guys, so just taking a quick peek here. Looks like there's maybe one, two, three, four bolts and then you've got this line that's coming over the top of the engine cover which, which we'll have to take off but that's all i see so far but and this is the piece that we're taking off today by the way all right so it does look like we're dealing with some 10 millimeter bolts got one two three and four all right, let's see how this clip goes on. It looks like it's got a little... All right, guys, so this is the clip we're talking about right here. So it looks like it has a little pushed part right here. And then if you look inside there, you can kind of like pop it up. So what I'm gonna use is a screwdriver here, wedge that in there, and at the same time, push this. All right, so we're just gonna squeeze this tab and then hopefully push this up. There we go. Yeah, I'd come on the uh, passenger side, guys, because this tube's in the way. This side actually has a better view on the passenger side of the clip. So you can see right there, it just pushes in there. And you just kind of squeeze that, and then use a straight edge screwdriver to pop it out. And then that'll release this tube right here from the engine cover. All right, now that we have all five of those things disconnected, let's see if this engine cover just pops off. So you gotta slide these metal plates out from there. One there, one there, let's see. Guys, that was pretty easy. While we have the engine cover off, let's take a gander. What is going on over here? Got the intake manifold, the air box is down in there. You got your headers, your cats, O2 sensors. Those would be pretty easy to replace. These are the four 10 millimeter bolts that came out of that engine cover. There's our engine cover, boys. So I gotta figure out if I can take these things off or if I'll just have to tape them up. And then this logo too. So this is the back side of the engine cover. Got this pad that's adhesed on there. Probably not. Oh, actually, it's coming off of this side pretty easy. If I can just reveal that logo, we'll see if uh, if it's something that can come off or not. It's just kind of adhesed on there with double-sided tape, looks like. All right, guys, so this is the inside of the engine cover. Unfortunately, that lo um, yeah, the Corvette logo is not going to pop off of there. And as for these rails, let's take a look. Those side rails definitely don't pop off from the inside. They do, however, look like they are separate. All right, guys, so after further inspection, these little plates are held on by some double-sided adhesive. So I'm going to do instead is I'm just gonna go ahead and try taping them off but first before we do that we're gonna give this thing a bath get all this grease and dirt all off of it not sure if this is the way to go about it but I'm just gonna use some dish soap in here figure it cuts grease on pots and pans it should be able to cut some grease on the engine cover right start off by rinsing it off well actually you know what I'm gonna try taking this tab off of there so it'll be a cleaner look when I go to actually spray it let's see if we can't wiggle this thing off should I go like side to side on it oh yeah just rock it side to side side to side it comes right out very nice little 
a bath, get her all clean so that paint can stick to it really, really well. She's all nice and rinsed off now. The bottom has a little foam and stuff on there. I'll probably rinse it off and then just let it dry out. Probably only one of the good things about the Florida heat. Things don't take very long to dry. Look at that, it's coming along pretty good. We're also gonna take some isopropyl alcohol to it and wipe it all down just as a second measure. I know that degreaser on the, the dish soap probably did a pretty good job, but I want this paint to stick. Woo, doesn't get much cleaner than that, guys. That is like right off the showroom floor. All right, so I'm gonna take a little bit of blue painter's tape and get these rails taped off and this logo taped off. Done, boys. That wasn't actually that bad. If you guys can, get a little tool like this. Came with my wrap kit. That edge makes it a lot easier to get that blue paint into those little cracks and crevices and stuff. I'm gonna go over it once with some isopropyl alcohol just cause I did touch it quite a bit when I was putting the blue tape on. All right guys, so just like we said before, we're gonna go with a white first and then we're gonna go with the red on top of that. We're gonna go with a couple light coats. Well, there's no turning back now, is there guys? our first coat you can still see the black through it it's not too thick I didn't want to get any runs in it I want this thing perfect all right guys second coat of white here we go trying to get nice and even on there try to hit it from every angle so you get it nice and covered all right so the second coat is done I don't know if it's gonna need a third coat but I'm gonna go ahead and put one on there after this dries all right guys so here's gonna be our first coat of red Ooh, that red is looking pretty. Oh, guys, I'm super excited about this now. This is gonna look so good. All right, guys, this is after the first coat. It looks totally different now. It looks so much better. All right, guys, so I just sprayed our third and final coat. Looks nice and even all the way around. We'll go ahead and let it dry for about an hour and then go ahead and get the install done. All right, guys, so it's been about an hour now. This thing should be dry. We're gonna go ahead and peel off all the tape and see how it looks. <laughs> Guys, that first plate looks so good. All right, let's see how this emblem looks. Or this logo. All right, I got a little bit of overspray on that. Again, a little alcohol cleans it right up. All right, guys, the paint job actually came out really good. The only thing that I'm a little iffy about is the logo. I didn't know really what know what to do with that, but I didn't want to just paint it red. But maybe, maybe I should have. Or maybe we can go back and uh, with like some really fine paint brushes and maybe like color in that logo and make it look really nice. But anyways, hey, not bad. Looks pretty good. Paint came out really, really good and even. We need to pop this thing on there. All right, we got the little clip on there now. I'm gonna go ahead and install it and then give you guys the reveal. All right, guys, here's the reveal. I love it, check it out. Look at that thing. You can definitely see that red through the back there, can't you? Oh my God, guys, I love it. Let me go ahead and pop the trunk so you guys can take a look at it even closer. Guys, look at that. If that doesn't pop, I don't know what does. That is a bright red engine cover. It looks so good. The only other thing that I would change is maybe the logo. I would just go ahead and just paint it red. I might just get like a picture of the uh, C8, C8 Corvette logo and then see if I can't, you know, by hand paint it and look, make it look really nice. But for a quick, easy job, guys, you could easily just paint over it and it looks freaking amazing. Look at that, that looks so good. The red's a little bit different from the valve covers, but it's really, it's pretty close. It's not too bad, not too different. But that thing definitely pops. The engine covers I think are like a, maybe a five, six hundred dollar option. If you guys don't want to pay that, then ten dollars and some spray paint, and we'll get it looking just like that. I, I absolutely love it, guys. Here's the side profile of it, just looking over. Looks pretty cool. You can see it through the little vents there too. That looks freaking awesome. People are gonna love it at shows. Well guys, if y'all like videos like this, let me know in the comments below that you guys wanna see more stuff like this. Um, I love doing little projects, little how-tos and stuff. We're gonna post one on next week for lowering the front and rear 
of the vehicle. We have an appointment on Friday to get it done, so I'll have that video up next week for you guys. Tell me what you guys think about the engine cover in the comments below. But as always guys, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done so, and I'll see you guys next time. Later.